Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I am going to talk about a new pilot program which is recently introduced by Canada Immigration and guys, it is called AgriFood uh, Pilot Program and I am going to walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process, what is it about, how to apply and stuff like this. So without wasting any time, let's just start. Okay, let's first understand that what this program is. It is an economic class program that has been launched to meet labor demand in agri-food sector of Canada. This program is designed to provide permanent residence to temporary visa holders who are already living in Canada and have non-seasonal, full-time Canadian work experience in certain agriculture and agri-food industries. And this program will run for the next three years. So guys, the last date to submit your application is from now until May 14th, 2023. And guys, there is limit on the number of applications. So per year, they are going to process 2,750 applications and those will be processed on a first come, first serve basis. Now let's talk about the requirements for this program. First of all, let's discuss the education requirement. And guys, the good news is the minimum education requirement for this program is high school or grade 12. So anyone can apply who doesn't have degree or diploma and guys if you have completed your studies outside of canada you need to get an educational credential assessment which is also called eca that proves your education is equivalent to a canadian high school diploma and the assessment must be done by one of the following organizations which are designated by ircc and each organization charges a different fee and has different processing times so guys please check their websites and select the one that is best for you However, I would recommend BES because it has less processing time as compared to others and the fees is low as well. Okay, now let's move on to the next requirement which is language proficiency test. You must take an approved English or French language test before you submit your application. Let's say if you're planning to write IELTS exam, then it has to be general, not the academic one. And the score for each skill you will need is already specified by them at their website link is given in the description box below and this is the table where you can check the minimum requirements for each skill under CLB level 4 so for reading you will need 3.5 for writing you will need 4 for listening 4.5 and for speaking 4 again now let's move on to the next requirement which is work experience so guys you must have minimum of one year of non-seasonal full-time and paid work experience in the past three years that means you should have 1560 hours at least uh, for your work experience and it must be in one or more of the eligible occupations listed at ircc website so let me just show you the list so for that I go to their website which is cic.gc.ca and guys the link of this um, page is given in the description box below so guys this is a list of all the eligible industries and eligible NOCs uh, for this program so guys your work experience must be in one or more of these occupations and uh, these industries which are listed in here and guys the NOC level is from B, C and D and these jobs are for butchers, food processing laborers, harvesting laborers or um, farm workers and guys if you want to check the description of each noc then simply go to noc page and the link is given in the description box below um, just enter the noc number and it will give you the complete details of this occupation such as uh, possible titles or main duties and employment requirements so this is how you can check uh, noc of your choice and guys, another requirement for your work experience is that it must be through the temporary foreign worker program. That means your employer needs to submit labor market impact assessment with a duration of at least 12 months. And guys, one more thing, the work experience that you have achieved while holding an open work permit does not count as a work experience for this program. Okay, so next requirement is your job offer. And guys, your job offer must be genuine, full-time, permanent, non-seasonal and it should be from one or more eligible NOCs and eligible industries that we just discussed. Now 
most of you have been asking that how to find a job in Canada so guys I need to make a detailed video on this one soon time however in one of my previous videos I have given some of the quick tips to look for a job in Canada so guys you may want to check that out the link of this video is given in the description box below okay next requirement is proof of funds okay so this is the amount that you need to show to Canada immigration as a proof that you have enough money to settle in Canada and support yourself and your family so the amount that you need to support yourself is 12,960 and if you have to support more family members then the amount you need to show is more okay after meeting the requirements guys your next step is to gather all the documents and detailed document checklist is available on their official website so just go through it and collect your documents so you are going to need travel documents such as your passport and um, your language proficiency results your education documents such as certificates or degree if you have or diploma or ECA report and then proof of funds such as bank statement your valid temporary resident status if you are applying within Canada and then your uh, clearance certificate and then photographs and stuff like this so guys uh, you can go through this checklist and once you gather all the documents your next step is to fill out your permanent resident application and guys the complete application package is available on their official website which is cic.gc.ca and these are all the forms that you need to fill out and guys the link of this application and guide to fill out all the forms of this application is given in the description box below you can go and check it out and guys it is super easy to fill out all the forms all the sections of each form are explained into the guide so you can do it on your own so once you complete your application you can pay your fees online and the fees for this uh, program is just for permanent residence application and that is 1325 Canadian dollars and um, just so you know guys they have increased the permanent residence application fees recently before it was i think 1025 but now it is 1325 and beside that there is another fee uh, for biometrics which is 85 dollars canadian and once you pay your fees complete your application then you can mail it to this address if it is a regular mail then this is the address where you need to send your application and if you want to do registered mail then this is the address where you need to send your application and further steps after submitting your application are explained in the same guide as well so guys you can check them out if you want okay guys so that was pretty much it for today and if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment box i will try my best to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again